What I really want to do is to get the real feel of Manila. Of course, we have the beautiful Manila Cathedral. Look at that, look at that beautiful entrance. There's the river over there. There's a nice looking bridge, Chinese aid bridge project. Hello. If you're still wondering how nice and friendly the Filipino people are, now you know. What I really want to do is to get the real feel of Manila, the real feel of the Filipino food, and the real feel of the Filipino culture. So as you can see, we are probably starting to see that side of things already. Of course, we have the jeepneys, we have the buildings, we have the local shops everywhere, little corner shops, kind of holes in the wall. Oh, it looks like karaoke. <laughs> and that is uh, something that you can't get away from. So this morning, I was probably up until four o'clock the chickens and the cats and the dogs were screaming outside of my uh, apartment not sure why they've been up so so early <laughs> for me i was up till that late editing videos and what do we have over here some sort of uh... hello 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 po how are you <laughs> <laughs> all right so he, he became camera shy very very quickly but what can he do and this way over here we have some sort of uh, i don't know what this is some sort of chinese looking building nice and red nice and vibrant as you can see everything here is super vibrant man even the shops are super pink this one's super green the other one's super red uh so yeah i am looking forward to going to the old town it's going to be definitely a different vibe to the modern side of bgc uh but i reckon it's going to be good uh, and i'm of course joined by the one and only you saw him already danny let's go let's catch a boat <laughs> let's go Oh, actually, I didn't mention. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how we go into the old town. So usually people get the jeepneys, people get a grab, people get a taxi, people fly there. I don't know, maybe teleport. But what we are doing today is something different. I haven't seen many people do that. And I reckon it is definitely something that is underrated. Getting a boat from the modern side of Manila all the way to the old town. So for me, whenever I think of Manila, of course, I think of the vibrant people and the vibrant colors. And this corner, I think really uh, quantifies that. So you have Jollibee over here. We have Julie's there, we have Chow King. Again, everything's nice and vibrant. You got the colors, the umbrellas, the food stalls, the people's smiles. And just over here, we have some fruits. Wow, that is a lot of fruit over here. Nice looking shops. We have ananas, uh, pineapple. We have uh, watermelon. Of course, I am kind of making a fast. I got my two bags with me, so it's nice and tight. And there you go, Danny is trying to get his macros in. Uh, let me get out of here before I break everything or maybe the drop on top of the fruits. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Paul. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, it is super hot right now. It's about 2 p.m. Apple? apple? Yeah, do you want an apple? Yes, please, sir. All right, I got you. I'll take one. <laughs> there you go. Danny's going to be looking after me. Uh, he got me free food already, and now he's getting me an apple, so he's been a true gentleman to me. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'm going to be plugging him in the description box. Uh, but, yeah, man, this is the i guess the quintessential feeling of manila people are just kind of getting on by their day selling fruit selling uh, some sort of uh, vegetables over there corn and there you go bye bye again bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. <laughs> where else do you see that and off camera people were waving so i'm going to see if i'm getting them in hello 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 Paul. What's, what's name or Anna? <laughs> channel channel okay let me see so as you know guys i've been trying to be very very efficient and I've been printing out my YouTube card. So now, shibao. There you go. YouTube thank card. You, okay, thank you, Paul. Bye bye, Paul. Bye bye, Paul. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I've been walking around for a little bit and I am hungry. So the first stop, obviously, is your man needs to get some food. So over here, we have some food. Oh my god, there's so many types of different selections over here. We have chickens. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of chicken necks. Some breast pieces over here. Some more chicken over here. Wow, there's so many different things. There's squid, there's some fish. Wow, this looks pretty good. Some sort of spinach thing. Wow, look at that. Some whole fishes over here. Hello, Paul. Hello. How are you? Hello. You okay? Yes. What is the best dish over here? What is the best dish? Beef calderata. Which, which one is this one? Beef calderata. Beef calderata. Beef. Yeah. Beef, okay. Uh, can I get it? Is it spicy? No. No spicy, okay. If it's not spicy, I am going to get it. Okay, can I get this one with rice, please? Well, the food just arrived. We've got a nice little uh, bit of uh, steamed rice. And just over here, we have a little bit of beef. Put that right on top of it. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Nice chunks of beef. Unfortunately, it is very, very cold. Uh, even though it is still, even though it's scorching outside, 
are probably warmer than this beef right now but what can you do when you're hungry you're hungry so let's go ahead and give that a try get a nice chunk get the sauce going and the boiled rice look at that that is a hot teaspoon for right here let's give it a try Mm. Wow, that's delicious. Wow. It's, uh, it's a little bit sour, a little bit savory, also a little bit sweet. I think the way that they cooked this beef was really, really good as well. You can tell it's just been sitting there on the fire, getting nice and tender. Let's get another bite. Mm. Awesome, man. Oh, it's very, very delicious. Uh, it's just over here as well. We have, uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like some sort of potato. Mm. I don't think it's a potato, something else, for sure. Mm. Honestly, I'm very happy with this meal, but as I'm eating this, I'm trying to distract myself from this thing. This thing looks crazy, huh? Pretty much it's got the whole thing. You got the tail, the body, the face as well. Even the eyes are still there. And uh, yeah, I kind of regret ordering this. Uh, and I'm not really sure how you're supposed to eat it. I think you're supposed to eat the face off as well. So let's give it a try. Not my favorite, let's just say that. So. I'll probably take that with me and maybe give it to a cat. Often the cat will eat it. Uh, but I think I'll just stick here. I'll try. You give it a try? A Bro, you just eat the fish head. <laughs> I think I went for the worst part to be fair. Here, man. I'll feed you, kid. Here, <laughs> take it. Bruh! <laughs> oh, okay. All right. No cat food today? That's a lot better. Yeah, unfortunately the cat is not getting any. That's actually pretty decent. The moment um, Dan kind of ate the side of it, um, it's much nicer. Like there's a lot more meat. Thank you, bro. There you go. Like here, it's like a, a full on fillet of fish. Yeah. That's much better. You got real chunks of uh, fish. The head, I think it was a bit weird since it's hollow just absorbs a lot of water, uh, not uh, a lot of oil. So you just get that predominant taste of oil. So it's not the best. The one is actually pretty nice. Only the wildest one eat the head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, you get a little bit of bones. Luckily the whole spine pretty much just stays intact. So when you're chewing it, you don't actually get any of those bones, but even if you did, they are very, very small. So you don't choke on them. As well as getting delicious food, my lady is also a good subscriber, a loyal one, huh? Go with Ali. There you go, that's my one. Go with Ali. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Iraq. Ah, Iraq. Iraq. And there you go. Make sure you put the notification bell on as well. Uh, Let's see if we can cross without dying over here. I think I am jaywalking. I don't know what the rules are when it comes to crossing over here. But, oh, thank you, Paul. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Uh, whoa, nearly got a run over back there. Uh, but yeah, nice local. Let me. Uh, cross without beeping me too much, but yeah, let me show you what the river is. It is uh, It's a green river. Uh, I don't know if it's because he, the plants in it or maybe uh, Maybe it's a little bit of pollution uh, Maybe it's a mixture of the both. We are I guess in an industrial area. So I wouldn't be surprised if it some of this uh, green is just some sort of pollution uh, from uh, those shops over here, but yeah, this is gonna be the uh, the river that we're gonna get on top of. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it is called the Pasig River. Yeah. Is it this one? I think so. Oh my God, bro. There is a dead dog in the water. Oh my God. Wow. I'm not gonna get that in. Uh, so we made it to the ferry station. It's the Guadalupe Pasig River ferry station. Unfortunately, as you can see, it is closed. We are here, of course, on a Sunday. And I didn't expect that the, uh, yeah, the Sunday service doesn't run. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately we're not going to be getting the river cruise today uh, But don't worry, I am definitely going to be back and I am going to be making it uh, again
guess, of the old town back to Makati on another day because I really want to experience that. Uh, so yeah, for now, uh, we are going to be getting a taxi all the way to the, I guess, Chinatown area. Uh, that way we get there a lot quicker. Uh, otherwise, a jeep me might take us, I don't know, an hour, two hours since we're going to need to get a few of them all the way to the central mm -hmm. Manila. Uh, one thing I which I didn't mention actually is the river cruise is free. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen that anywhere in the world. So we got the MRT. The MRT was free and the river cruise is for free. So while I wait for the taxi, I got a question for you guys. Why does Grab take so long here in the Philippines? We've been waiting here for about half an hour now uh, and there isn't that many taxis for whatever reason. I've used Grab uh, back in Thailand and there you generally get a taxi within a minute or two of waiting and even if one taxi driver cancels you get another one pretty much straight away but here in Manila uh, I don't know if it's the lack of taxis over here if it's uh, some sort of regulation but Grab takes forever to get a taxi so yeah let me know uh, if you're from this area here we go so I think the taxi is going to be arriving from the other side so we're going to need to cross the road again and hopefully we don't get run over Wow, my man's blasting on the scooter. I haven't seen the scooter so far. Hello. <laughs> and of course, wherever you are in Manila, you're not too far away from another pink Jeep me. And there you go. This one is getting nice and shiny. You got some sort of uh, some Ferrari graphics on it. It's getting nice and clean. Nice, brother. Nice. <laughs> Keeping it nice and fresh. Keeping it cool for his next customers. There's our knight and shining armor. The silver Mr. Bishi. Hello, Paul. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put my stuff here in the background. Oh, the nice man is going to come and help me. Oh, is he? Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm good. Come on, Kuya. Thank you. Salamat, Paul. Okay, thank you, Paul. Ah, here we go. This is much, much nicer, much, much cooler. We were standing outside sweating, so it's nice to be good in an aircon. Okay, Paul, ready? Apiamo! Wow, look at this. This is cool. We've got a fire engine. We got the, I guess, the entrance of the Chinatown. Uh, just over here is our hotel, which is the Ramayada Manila Central. Okay, get my bags. Okay, salamat po. Thank you so much. Bye bye. All right, let's go ahead and check into the hotel. Hello. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? Okay. Good afternoon. Oh, it's okay, no problem. I'll take it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hello, Paul. How are you? You okay? Good to see you. <laughs> Hello. How are you? You okay? Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. So, your friend also have that same camera? Yes. I think he just left. He, he just left, yeah. I'm he checking went to in. to Market. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's yeah. why I'm going next as well. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah. You're going to be vlogging. You're going to drop your things? Yeah, I'll, I'll drop okay. it and I'll go out straight away. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Oh, okay. Double tap, then press your floor. Oh. Yes. Perfect. Okay, Paul. Thanks so much. Bye bye. There we go. Now that we've worked out how to put the electricity on, let me show you what the bathroom looks like. Uh, you have a toilet bowl over here. And straight away, what I like to see is nice, clean, white towel. So that is plus points for here. Uh, a massive shower. Let me get inside it. This is always a good sign. So if you can see, I don't you can't touch the other end of it. And of course, we have a beautiful rain head shower. So that is again always a plus for me. And uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, I guess a basic sink, good pressure, and some nice amenities over here. We have a conditioner. We have some shampoo, uh, some uh, toothpaste. Very lucky to have this. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I ended up losing a lot of my things. So I lost the uh, hairspray that I have, and I also lost uh, my toothpaste. So that's good for me. And we have a nice sanitary bag over here. You have some uh, mask, uh, some rubbing alcohol, and some tissue. And of course, you have a mirror to see how ugly you are first in, in the morning. So again, that's a good thing for me. 
And what do we have over here? We have a little cupboard, nice little storage area, and a robe. And what else do we have over here? This looks pretty nice. Nice area for the storage. But this is probably the most important thing for me. Obviously, after the bed, the next thing that I really need is a chair, a TV, somewhere where I can set up my work, and of course, edit these videos for you guys. Uh, the rest of the room looks pretty good. Again, we have another table over here. We have a wild Danny appearing out of nowhere. And the, the design is pretty nice as well. Of course, we are in the Chinatown. So I guess the theme of the room is kind of Chinese by the floral design over here and the coral fishes over there as well. But I think with any room tour, it is not complete without testing the bed. So let's get ahead, give it a try. Oh. We just left the hotel. Right now we are on top of the bridge. As you can see, there's the river that we were supposed to be getting on with that earlier boat. Uh, definitely gonna come back and try that boat journey again. I think it will be a nice, uh, easy way to get into town. There we go, my man is on a skate. <laughs> That's a cool looking guy right there. <laughs> Obviously being in the old town, there's a lot of ancient buildings over here. Over here we have the one of the most ancient uh, looking forts. Uh, some old statues as well. I believe this is Queen of Spain. Oh, this about, there you go. 1860, wow. So as you can see, this is a huge contrast from where we were staying in. BGC is an ultra modern, uh, I guess, uh, ultra professional area. This is pretty much the opposite of that. It's just local people kind of getting on with their day. And of course you have historical buildings, historical bridges, and a lot, a lot of history here as well. As well as old buildings and ancient ones, you have some old looking cars here as well. Wow, this one, I guess had a lot better days in this past as you can see it's literally being held down by uh, I guess two metal rods uh, and I guess yeah someone is working on top of it uh, I wonder how old this car is I think it is probably even older than I am it doesn't even have number plates and something which you will notice pretty much right away here in old Manila is the wiring is crazy so I only seen this uh, I think in Mumbai and in Delhi uh, but I guess this is the third place that I've seen it as you can see it is a complete mess I mean if you was an electrician and you were sent out to come and fix the wiring good luck to you my man you literally have no idea where anything goes wow and we walked down for another couple of minutes and we have another statue over here and I believe this is Philip II which is King of Spain again it is a very old looking statue I'm not sure how old it is but as you can see it's got a nice patina on it uh, and the details are actually pretty good so I don't know if you can see it but he's wearing some sort of chain uh, with I guess a goat or a sheep on it and even if you look at the globe it's got pretty much the map you got Antarctica you got Africa and you get Europe as well and walking down for another five minutes or so the area has really completely changed and the vibe is very different as well as you can see buildings are a lot older here as well a lot more vibrant we have some sort of bank over here another bank over there another bank over there I'm not sure what this is I thought this is the old town but it looks like it's the business district there's so many banks over here so many little shops you got people kind of just enjoying themselves on the bike hello Paul hello hello <laughs> nice and just around the corner we reach a really really nice looking area nice and peaceful over here we have some people relaxing hello Paul how are you and you got a little horsey over there cool looking horse thank you sir and just over here of course we have the beautiful manila cathedral so this is i believe was built in the 1571s so this church is uh, this cathedral is almost 500 years old again as you can see it is nice and beautiful you got the clock tower over there you got nice orient designs you got um, statues all over the area as well beautiful cross right at the top and right in the middle here you got a nice little fountain area nice I like these sorts of areas man again we are right in the middle of the town so it's pretty hot over here pretty humid uh, but again since we are right next to the water we got a nice little breeze going makes it nice and cool but look at that look at that beautiful entrance even look at the uh, designs and the stonework on top of the gates you can tell a lot of work has gone into this and again this is a super old cathedral so it's been maintained very very well and as you can see it is still active and it's still in use you can see the doors are open over there you got people just kind of relaxing in front of the gates as well taking pictures making sure getting those uh, instagram pictures on point now we're seeing some local they keep spying off camera so let's put the camera on them see what they say hello 
Hello, how are you? Hello, Thank you so much. What are you doing here? Are you selling these clothes? Yes, for only 200 pesos. Wow, okay. Did you design them yourself? Yes. You designed them yourself? No. Wow, okay. What do you have? H and M, I see. Yeah. Well, this one's not too bad. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. This one's about you. Yeah. What do we have? So we have. All I do is eat and sleep. I mean, that is pretty much oh, me. Oh, you to need be this one, happiness. Happiness. <laughs> I do need some happiness in my life, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what these are cool. What is your back? Is your YouTube account? YouTube account. Channel. I tell you what. Yeah, so we were going to watch that one. There you go. There's a business card right here. Oh, thank you. Go <laughs> with Ali. Buy this oh. one. Only one. I, I am super hot already though. Look. Uh, even with okay, this, I am super sweaty, you know? Go with Ali. <laughs> yeah, subscribe and follow and put the notification okay. bell on as well. Okay? Go with Ali. Okay, salamat po. Salamat. Nice to meet you. I'm feeling nice and hot, nice and sweaty. So, of course, I'm going to get me some ice cream. I saw some local looking Filipino ice cream. Hello, boss. Hello. How are you, Po? Okay. You okay? Uh, what do you have over here? Can I take a look? Cheese. cheese 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 this one okay and this one avocado avocado okay and uh, there you go so you're making it into some sort of cones over here what's this one you make a sandwich with ice cream yes interesting sir. okay sandwich which one cream. is more popular the ice cream or the cone the cone the cone's more interesting okay let me get a cone please so i think that the flavor is, is avocado and cheese oh yeah cheese interesting cheese. okay i've yeah, never had a cheese ice cream before this is my first time is that a is traditional that ice cream here in Philippines? Oh. oh, okay. Okay, let's do it, yeah. So, 40 pesos is about uh, 80 pence, 80 cents, something like that. So, just under a dollar. So, I think it's pretty good going. Did you want one as well? Here? Yeah? Okay, one, one, okay. Okay, two more. It's like a phosphorus green. Phosphorus yellow. So he did say it is a cheese and avocado flavor. I've never had a cheese and avocado flavor on ice cream. Usually it's some sort of uh, some sort of uh, fruit taste or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, boss. There is uh, 150 over here. You can keep the change. You can keep it. Thank you. Okay, salamat po. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. There you go. He gave me a nice, uh, generous portion. I was expecting only one scoop or two scoops. But my man gave me a lot of it. But as you can see, it's pretty much melting right away. So he served it to me, what, not even a minute ago? And it's already nice and soft. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Mmm. Mmm, interesting. Hard to describe the taste. It definitely doesn't taste like cheese. It definitely tastes of a bit of dairy. Um, it's very very hard to explain this flavor it's yeah he did say it's cheese but honestly it tastes a bit weird just sweet it's right? just a bit sweet like a sweet milk right yeah i yeah. think that's the best way to describe it but you got the nice and crunchy cone on it as well it's got a uh, chocolate on one side and it's got normal waffle on the other side mm. nice and crunchy So we walked out for a little bit more and just over here you have some uh, ancient looking buildings again i guess the best way i could describe this is it has some sort of uh, spanish influence as you can see the balcony the decorations on them uh, i guess the uh, the flags on top as well again nice and ancient nice and white even though it's pretty old they kept it nice and clean and we are here in a beautiful area right in front of the park you can see nice little gates over here you got fountains all the way there in the background hello sir hello sir how are you you okay <laughs> and just over here we've got my man selling some sort of chickens or something hello sir how are you look at that hey <laughs> there you go my man is sinking it to the music as well very nice sir very nice thank you sir salamat po that's the old area that's cool man i like this hello po how are you you okay nice to meet you sir nice to meet you Oh, whoa, what is this? American. Are these real or copy? Yes. No, not copy. This one wow. is organ. This one is Liberty. Liberty? Yes. This one is trade dollar. Wow. Very heavy, huh? Yes, silver wow. dollar, sir. Very heavy. This is 1888. Yes, 1804. Wow. How did you get them? Did they sell them here? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, you sell them? Bullock, yes. how, how much is for one? 1500. 1500 pesos. Yes. So that is 30 American. 30 American, that's yes. a lot, huh? Wow, okay. Okay, so, unfortunately, it's outside my budget, but thank you for showing me, sir. But for, we have our less price. Uh, one in, we have our less price. Oh, no, thank you. I, I don't have fees for it, but I appreciate it, my brother. Thank you. Salamat for. Salamat. And just over here, we have the security guard. Salamat for. Salamat. <laughs> cool looking uh, uniform. They're armed as well, so I'm not going to go mess with them too much with the camera. But yeah, I mean, look at this. So just on the other side of the uh, that Spanish looking building over here, they have some more over here. For me, this is the quintessential influence, uh, the architecture when it's, you know, when it comes to Spanish architecture, I guess the colors, the arches, kind of the pillars as well. Uh, but I guess just a general vibe really. Again, you have a nice church there in the background of the main cathedral of Manila. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. channel. Okay, one second, one second. I got a YouTube card for you, my brothers. John, can I? Yeah. There you go. There's one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you. You guys are looking cool. You play basketball, huh? Yeah. Play basketball. You play basketball. I, How can I watch yeah. that, man? Uh, YouTube. Let's look up. Yeah. Man, let's go. Nice to meet. You. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Rayban, man. Rayban. Carlos. Team, I am Ali. Go with Ali. Keep safe, keep safe, nice man. to meet you. Keep Dutch. You guys are the coolest looking people here. Congrats. See you. Bye bye. Oh, LeBron James, yeah? LeBron James. <laughs> And now we're just making our way back from the Manila Cathedral all the way back over here across the Pasig River and as you can see there's the river over there there's a Chinese uh, aid bridge project and it does lead you towards the Chinatown and just over there in the distance you see boats that just came across there so that would have been the boat I believe that we would have gotten all the way from BGC to here so hopefully we can do that another time oh sorry <laughs> And there you go, it's a nice looking bridge. There you go, it is the Chinese. Uh, you've got Chinese flags over there. You have this suspension bridge over there. And there you go, some more looking cool people. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Sir, picture? Get pictures okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you got a good one. Okay, brother, there you go. Oh, yeah, you're my wife. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, you want to take wife. a picture with your wife as well? There you go. You're going to be yeah, on yeah, YouTube yeah, as well yeah. with me. This is my wife. Your, ah, uh, beautiful wife, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, all good? Okay, salamat. Salamat po, salamat. Have a good day, yeah? Okay, bye bye. Yes. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> Beautiful. Look. Bro, at least 20 subscribers already. <laughs> Something which I've never actually seen anywhere else is this is a, I guess, a car bridge, but it looks like it doesn't matter on a Sunday. There are people just here on their motorbikes, just parking over here, parking cars over here. My man's here on a skating board. We're gonna do a trick. Hey, nice. Hey, <laughs> nice trick, nice trick. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. Like people are just sitting here parking, just relaxing, taking pictures. Uh, yeah, it looks like the cars are secondary over here in the bridge. It doesn't matter where they are. Hello. Hey. Hello. Subscribe and follow. <laughs> Okay, sure. okay, okay. What's that? Oh, picture. Okay, okay. Together. <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> How's it gonna go? <laughs> Alright. Give her, give her some guns. Alright, what's going on? Guns. <laughs> Alright, come, come, come. Let's get a picture. Come. Real all together, picture. all together. Thumbnail, thumbnail. Guys, come on! Miss Teresa Philippines, Mr. Philippines. Mr. Come Philippines. Come there you go, Miss Teresa Philippines. There you go. <laughs> More fun in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Or what is it? More fun. Bye. <laughs> so, wow, there you go. Apparently, we just met Desiree Hero. Is she. Uh... Miss Interreason World. Wow, okay. There you go, guys. So, we got a thumbnail with a beautiful lady over here. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> and I was talking and talking and you're right. Amazing. <laughs> Very amazing. Alright, there we go. <laughs> you look like Derek Ramsey. Who? Yeah. Derek Ramsey is a Philippine actor. Derek Philippine Hansen. Actor. Uh, yes. Ramsey. Ramsey. Okay. Ramsey. I was Googling him. Okay. Google him. Okay. You look like him. Okay, I'll check him out. Okay. 
okay. <laughs> salamat po, salamat. Shout out ah, pag ano ah. I will, I will tell. Shout out. Yeah. Is that real? I, I really have to speak in English. It's not live, it's not live. Oh, it's not live. You're gonna go and edit that? I'll edit it later. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Go, guys. Welcome. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you. Your time. Thank you. Salamat po. Salamat. Bye bye. <laughs> there you go. If you were still wondering how nice and friendly the Filipino people are, now you know. And there you go. My man's taking pictures of it as well. As well as the horse carts, you got some more of the Filipino traffic over here. Hello, Paul. <laughs> We've got some tractors over here and unfortunately it looks like we walked down the wrong side so the only way to cross is above this little uh, fence over here so let's attempt this with the world's tightest shorts there you go that's one smooth <laughs> ah there you go <laughs> Nice and smooth. All right, guys, that was a fun adventurous day here in Old Manila. Got a really good first impression. Again, a huge contrast between the new city, the old town as well. Now we're ending it in a nice, peaceful, quiet area. We're going to do the cathedral. Again, we have the fountains. We have people chilling over there. They have bubbles blowing in the air. People on their bicycles. I reckon it's been a very good adventurous day. Again, we got to find out a lot about the history of the town, a lot about the food as well. How was your first impression of the old town, Dan? We spent a few days in the modern part, and even though I think this is like a little bit more convenient, a little bit more livable, you know, this morning for some reason I was talking to Ali and I got the curiosity to look up old Manila, and if you type that in, you kind of see that a hundred years ago already, you know, you saw cars on the street, you saw like different buildings, kind of like this, maybe some of the here I see 1940 from that building over there. Oh yeah. And so this building has been around for like 80 years and just walking a little bit for history. I think not too many um, cities in Southeast Asia have such a rich history and so it's kind of cool, you know. We're going to walk around for a little bit, get some food, explore the town a little bit, maybe explore what the real Menendah looks like at night and I'm also going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my ice cream. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you are enjoying the content that I am making here in Philippines and in Manila, please do subscribe and follow. Comment down below where you want me to visit next and I will go there and I will see you in the next video. Salamat po.